Alright, good evening everybody, welcome to tonight's stream. We are going to be playing some Minecraft. We are playing on the Crack Pack version still. It's my own custom version of the Crack Pack. Uh, and I need to talk about that, which I will do so momentarily. First of all though, I need to get rid of some of this glass. How, in all the time I've been playing Minecraft, have I not learnt not to keep your inventory full at all times? Let's just do that, and we'll do that. Throw that on the floor. Stick these in here again. And we're hopefully about to see something very clever happen. It might take a while. It might not happen at all. I might have left it too late. Oh no. Something's happening. This one's coming along. Hello, friend. There you go. He's going to park there for a minute. And then he's going to go off. And where is he going, you might ask? Well, between last stream and this, which was a few weeks ago now, or a couple of weeks ago, I should say. There's another one. We'll see what he's up to in a second. Uh, I've been busy. You might have noticed I've actually built some roads. Uh, some proper roads. Some nice-looking roads. We are sort of stumped with that though and I'll explain again a little bit more as to why that is but let's just see what this robot's gonna do shall we so he's gonna pop over here he's gonna stop there and he's gonna chuck some planks into that gap there and then he's gonna go back to either recharge or to pick up some more materials this is how the city is going to be built um, three components three main components a construction mark, a blueprint, and a builder bot. They are the three main components for this. You can see the house is still coming together. Uh, when it is finished, it will look something a bit like this. Except this isn't a finished product. For example, that light there is supposed to switch on and hasn't done so. So yesterday's stream, I was playing uh, Train Simulator and I was moaning about this and how long it took me to fix a problem that I had and all the things that I learned about this version of Minecraft whilst I was doing that. Let me very quickly tell you this, that story whilst we watch these uh, robots at work. So last stream I did start experimenting with blueprints and builders and um, things like that and one of the things that I did notice and I think I mentioned it actually on the stream is the fact that the builder block appeared to be creating structures in creative mode. Um, so there, I didn't have to put resources in in order for it to create a building. And that's how all of these roads that you see here were actually assembled. Ignore that bit, it's not been done yet because it goes slightly off the grid pattern. But all the way down there towards the power station and then it goes up there, loops around and comes back just over there. Um, oh, fell down the hole. In fact, that's part of the lighting system which I'll talk about in just a minute. Uh, so all of this was built using a builder block, but again, it was it was working in creative mode. And it took me a long time to find an answer on Google as to why it was doing that. And it turns out the reason why it was doing that was because the default world settings was set to creative. Uh, this map, for those of you that aren't aware, uh, just over 12 months ago now, I did a university project to create an interactive map of a fictitious world. And I decided to make the world in Minecraft uh, and then use Overviewer, uh, the Overviewer mod or add-on, whatever you want to call it, in order to actually um, create the map. Uh, it is still live. I can't remember where you can find it now, but I think it's on my portfolio website, which I need to put in the description of these videos, actually. Uh, but you can, you can go check out the map. It's not my finest work. I'll tell you that. But there, there was a backstory to the city, and that backstory will be continuing in this uh, series as well, in this particular project. Um, but in order to create the initial few buildings, so Guard Square, what was Guard City Central Station is now being renamed to Guard Square Station. Uh, Guard Tower over there, City Hall there, and then Guard Bridge, which is the other side of the square, approximately in that direction that I'm looking now. Uh, they were all built in creative mode, 
using a vanilla version of the game, Vanilla Forge I used, uh, which is available in the Curse Launcher. Um, so the default world setting was set to creative, but I wasn't actually aware of that. I should have been. In hindsight, looking back, I really should have known the reason why it wasn't working. But at the time, it was a mystery to me. I couldn't fathom why um, the builder was only building in creative mode. And also, these robots were building in creative mode. So, I placed them all where they are now. They haven't moved. But I placed some blueprints. Not these buildings here, but some separate buildings over here. In fact, did one of these get built on stream? I think that one might have done. But these are some test builds that I did, again, using the... Uh, the bots. You can kind of see here where the uh, the fence would have gone, but it's been cut off because of the way the uh, blueprints work. That's fine. It doesn't take long to go and plug those back in. Um, but the robots very quickly demolished all the land and, and things in front of them, and then very quickly built a house. Once I switched... Uh, once I tweaked the fact that it was set to creative mode, I then had to switch it to survival mode, and that was an ordeal, and that's the bit that really was the most troublesome and time consuming because it wasn't just a case of uh, type here default game mode survival that didn't work it told me it did like in the game I would type that press enter and it comes up saying default mode change to survival and then I would save and exit go back onto the main menu look at loading it up again and it would tell me uh, no this is creative so again it took me about an hour two hours on Google to find uh, a Reddit post, I think it was, that said, oh, MC Edit will fix that for you. So I thought, brilliant, MC Edit will fix that for me. Nope. Uh, because Crack Pack was last updated in 2016, the latest versions of MC Edit do not work. They're not compatible, do not compute. And actually, I'm not quite sure what's going on with MC Edit because I tried to load up the vanilla Minecraft. I actually went onto Mojang's website, re-downloaded Minecraft, made sure it was up to date, uh, the base vanilla game. Uh, and tried to open MC Edit on that, and it still didn't work. And I'm I'm not quite sure if that's because I haven't made a world in vanilla Minecraft, and therefore it wasn't recognizing the relevant files. So I know there are some files and folders that are only created once a world is is uh, being created. So that could be the uh, the reason. But it's very frustrating when something tells you it can't do something, but it won't tell you why it can't do it. Anyway, I managed to find uh, after a very long time. I think it was a four hours in at this point, I managed to find a, I think it was another post on Reddit, where someone said, oh, have you tried this video? And it was a video to a one minute, 20 second tutorial about how to use something called EBT, I think it was. Uh, and I went on that video, watched it, downloaded EBT, opened it up like the video told me to. Bearing in mind, this video was from, I think, three years ago. So I wasn't expecting it to work, but I was willing to give anything a, a shot at this point. I uh, opened up this program, went through to the directory that it told me to, Selected the file that it told me to, changed the value that it, like it told me to, went back into the game, and it worked. So we now have a survival world. What that does mean, though, one of the drawbacks is these robots now take bloody forever to build things because they only carry one item at a time. But that's fine, because we have, I think, at the time of saying this, I think we have eight bots set up on every other light pole. These aren't the prettiest, but these are the street lamps that we'll be using in the city. I will put a cover across the front of that as well. The tops are always going to be left open. There's going to be two robots per uh, street lamp. It's always going to be a picker or a carrier plus something else. Uh, so in most cases, at the moment, I've got two pickers per, apart from every other one. So this one here, I've got a picker and a builder. Um, and yeah, it works quite nicely. Now you might notice... Where is a good example? Somewhere around here. Maybe it's not doing it anymore. There was a red laser that was running through these pipes. They're supplying power. Let me see if I can find somewhere that actually has the laser showing. It's not a bad thing, actually, that the laser... There we go. These are a nightmare to stay open, by the way. Come on. So that's... a. There's a laser down there anyway. Uh, using the default build craft pipes, so these gold transport pipes, plus the logistics pipes on junctions, and then a little card called a power transportation something. I can't remember what the, uh, the third word is now. Um, that's what those little blue dots are. It means it's got that card installed, and the green dot means it's supplied with power from the reactor. Uh, but we have power 
and items now running through these pipes and eventually we will have water or other fluid running through these pipes as well so a couple of streams ago I said about having a full utility system uh, and originally it was going to be a three wide trench one carrying items one carrying power one carrying water now it looks like we can actually have all three in the same uh, block which is fantastic if that is the case so far so good each street lamp contains a capacitor at the bottom, a basic capacitor, uh, which is pretty much always full on power. That then supplies a wooden kinesis pipe, which then goes up into the street lamp itself via some iron kinesis pipes. Uh, and that's to make sure that we have as much power running through here as possible. Most of the power comes here and supplies these lights. They are powered uh, lights inverted. I think in the future I might actually be able to put a lever on here and switch these on and off. Uh, and then on top, of course, we've got the docking ports for the robots. So far, so awesome. Each one of these street lamps uh, connects via a junction, which you'll see here. Uh, and each set of the... This is a carpenter's hatch, by the way. Part of the carpenter's blocks. Uh, mod is the same mod as we built the slopes for the pyramid for the bank out of. Uh, and as you can see you wouldn't know it was there because you put a concrete block on top of it and it disguises it quite nicely. This is so that every single one of these junctions every time there's a logistics pipe built in the road essentially there will be a manhole cover for maintenance purposes just to make sure everything's connected, everything's working. The builders it's the last main point really. Uh, the builders work thus we have all the items here needed to craft the house. This chest will get emptied very shortly these uh, gates here are only telling the docking ports, docking stations, that if there's items in the chest, provide them to the robots. That's all they're doing. The robots themselves, their base locations are the charging locations. And there are no gates on any of the locations where the robots charge and are stored. And that is so that there's no restrictions or limitations on what they can do. So all the picker robots are probably lost forever now because I don't know where they've gone. Every now and then one does come past. Uh, and likewise over here. In fact there is one. I changed the setting here so that if this chest here has space in its inventory. Then the robot can come and deposit its items. That clicking noise. Oh hello we've got stuff being dropped on the floor here. Uh, that clicking noise is this. And this is what we're going to be doing today. So this here is a. Uh, this grey box here is an open blocks dropper which when provided with a redstone pulse drops any items in its inventory downwards or out the side depending on which way you orient it, uh, orientate it. Uh, so last time we put these in, these are the inscribers, this is the beginnings of our applied energistic system. That robot is redundant, I'm not actually sure what it's doing here. So I'm pretty sure we don't have a docking port here anymore, no we don't. So I've no idea what that was doing there. We'll come back to that. Um, so yes, this is new. This is a crafter. Now this is creating these 64ME, 64K ME storage components. Uh, and this is the beginnings of our storage system. Because this, if put with some iron ingots, some redstone and some quartz glass, uh, creates a 64K ME storage cell. So everything that we've currently got stored in the bank and going through all of this here is all going to be moved, hopefully, by the end of tonight. This, by the way, I didn't actually say what this is um, doing. So you remember last time I had that pit of water that I was dropping those seeds in to try and turn into uh, pure quartz? That's what this does now. So I put the seeds in here. They're fed into the dropper. The redstone pulse drops the uh, seeds into the water at half second intervals. And that means we've got a constant supply of seeds turning into quartz uh, yeah pure quartz and these glowing purple things here are crystal growth accelerators and they just speed up the process in the water uh, and this lovely little fella here is an ME controller which we're going to be making some more of momentarily I think that completes the recap hopefully that completes the recap not a hundred percent sure I think that's everything. So I've covered the whole survival creative thing. Um, and I've covered what the robots are currently doing. That's the first time actually I've seen all of the robots out in one go. 
that's the thing. Like sometimes the robots just stop, and I have to reset them, like take them off the port and put them back on again. Sometimes it's because there's no items in the chest uh, that they can actually use to build. Like they like to build things in a certain order. They tend to build the framework first. I actually really like this because I talk about realism a lot, and I say I don't like floating structures. They build the framework first and then they put the rest of it in. So in this case, this building here, the framework is made out of cobblestone. So they build the foundation layer first, and then they build up at all four corners. Then they build along. There's a strip of cobblestone under the stairs there. In fact, you can see it there. And then they go along that way, and they fill all of the um, structural beams first. And then they come back and they put the door, the wood, the windows, and then the roof. Although the roof, I think, goes on before the wooden walls are completed because you have a framework therefore it can support the roof that's a really nice touch uh, whoever s decided to set that up that's a really nice touch right I need to put all of this stuff in storage because th those buildings those little houses there uh, I'm gonna keep the blueprint because that is gonna be a house that will be available in the city for people to purchase I didn't actually show you inside it did I um, do I have another, I suppose this will do, put that there, 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 uh, there was some more blank blueprints, what did I do with them, they might be out here, yes, uh, should, six should be enough. Alright, let me give you a quick tour of the house. It's very simple. It's a single story. Uh, these will be like the base level houses. There will be more expensive ones. Plus, once I start working on Guard Tower again, um, that would be basically take a blueprint, copy, paste. Whoops, fell down the hole. So here's the door. Very nice door. Uh, and it's very simple, like I said, inside. There's a crafting table over here, which doubles as a bed stand or a nightstand. The bed itself. Uh, that click noise is the two dining tables, or the coffee table and the dining table, which are just essentially pressure plates on top of fences. you got this nice little sofa sitting area here. Uh, there was going to be a kitchen area here, or at least like a furnace connected up to the energy and a water source. Likewise, there was originally an electric light in the corner here. But Buildcraft only takes certain blocks when you're taking blueprints, and none of the Ender IO stuff seem to copy into the blueprint. So I've left it as default. So for lighting, we've gone the old conventional way. There's a redstone lamp here. There's a piece of redstone on top of it. Uh, here, on top of this block, there's another block with a redstone torch on it. Another piece of redstone with a daylight sensor on top. So if I come outside again, and whoops, go upwards... This is the daylight sensor dug into the roof, and you can see the redstone there. So you can't actually, like, if it rains, water won't leak in. It's totally weatherproof, this uh, this house. And it's a very nice construction, if I do say so myself. Uh, and it's actually not my own design. It was copied from... Whoops. Some of these other buildings, like this one here, I think might get copied as well. We'll have this as a slightly bigger house. Uh, but over here, you see that building there? with the box drawn around it. Uh, that was the master copy of the house. Uh, so I have come in here and made the renovations, added the redstone lamp, added the bed, things like that, and then I took a blueprint of it. Everything else besides the bed and the lamp was here already. It's actually a really nice house design. Uh, and I'm now going to take this, because we're going to need it in a second. And this is what I was talking about, where it builds the frame first. These were failed attempts. Uh, there is one problem with the robots, and that's if the location where the supplies are provided is too far away from the location where the supplies are needed, then the robots sort of do this weird thing where they'll come off the docking port, and they'll go to like two blocks away, and then they'll come back. And they just throw the block all the way over. So that's how this house got built. This one doesn't have a light in. This was an early draft. Uh, and in fact, I'm not sure. I think it might be a finished house, actually. Um, but yeah, this is what the framework looks like. This was a failed attempt. So you can see how they build all the cobblestone first. It might just be that they happen to just build cobblestone first, then oak planks, then oak stairs. And it just, the design of the house meant that all the cobblestone got put in first, so it looked like the framework was getting put in first. I don't know. 
Uh, and then over here is the other house design, which I don't think I will be carrying over, in fact. Anyway, we're working here today. Uh, so this will be paved. I've got to make sure it's the right width. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, I think. I oh, know. Yeah, so this block here will be the first block off of the street. So I'm going to dig this out. I could get the robots to do it for me. And that's something else that I've got set up now. I went into the build craft configuration um, screen and I made it so that if anything's getting built, say for example a house is being built on this little plot of land here, all of these blocks will actually be dug up and turned into um, loose assets rather than just deleted out of the world, which is what was happening previously. Uh, and then the picker robots will come by and pick these up. And it basically means we're recycling everything that we have in the city, which I think is crucial uh, with this environmental struggle that we are currently in. That's total BS. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a tree hugger, but I do think the environment does need looking after as well. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building a factory. And this factory is going to form the backbone for our manufacturing in the uh, in the city. So the bank, this is the clever bit, the bank is going to be storing everything in its ME system and then the factory, <coughs> which might just be called the factory, will be built directly opposite it. Uh, and this is what I mean by getting industrial because we're going to be building it out of bricks. Or at least some of it will be built out of bricks. Not all of it. And I do need a crafter. And I just so happen to have one here. Uh, external. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I need more bricks. Because the plan is we're going to make sort of one part of the building. It's going to be of a modular design. And then we're going to take a blueprint of that part and we're going to create copies of it. Uh, keep external done. Stick those in. Perfect. And then this when there's available space will get filled up. Uh, I do feel like I need to place down more of these just to use up some of the uh, material that we've got here. Hmm, maybe. We've certainly got a lot of material. What I might do actually is create another chest like up here and put it all in here instead. So let me disable that. Do I have another gate hanging around somewhere? Yes, I do. Do I have a wooden transport pipe? No, I don't. Uh, I do need that, though. And I do need... That. Alright, we're actually going to get into doing some building. I already feel like I'm being too ambitious tonight. With uh, how much I want to get done. So we could end up not being able to complete everything that I was just said we would do. The main priority really is to get the... Uh, there's a filter somewhere as well. Yeah, there. The main priority is to get the um, factory templates built. If I can get that done, I will be happy. There we go. And then uh, you go there. You set to insert. And... There's all that. Now I need a wooden transport pipe, which I didn't have in there, did I? No, I did not. Come on, I couldn't move for the things before. There must be one over here. Kinesis pipe. Wooden transport pipe. Bingo. Uh, I need a docking station. And again, there isn't one in there, but there should be a button in here. It's 42. That's fine. 
Right, so for now, I'm just going to do that with that there and that there. And then these are set to items in inventory provide items. There we go. Provide items. And that should be how that works. Uh, now I'm going to make this double chest. And I'll tell you for why. If I come back over here and grab some more of these bricks. Oh. Where did he come from? I forgot you were switched on. What I want to know is, what was he out killing? Because I've not got mobs turned on still. Well, it's good to see it was working, at least. It is very satisfying when you see these working. Doesn't always happen, though. Uh, right, extract on brown, let's say. And you're only going to extract bricks. Just the one. Uh, uh, ooh. That's what I wanted. And then you're going to be... Uh, insert on brown, extract on green. Right, stick you in. There we go. So we're going to try and build as much of this building out of vanilla blocks as possible. Or at least the uh, outside structure is going to be built out of as much vanilla as possible. Because eventually... Wow, that's full. Um, eventually we will get to a point where the blocks inside, when we're fitting out... I uh, suppose I could do that. When we're fitting out the inside, um, we will have to use non-vanilla blocks. Oh, wow. Everything's full. This is why we are doing this new system. And in fact, whilst I've got the uh, inventory space, we are going to... That was iron, wasn't it? Yeah. Grab a butt ton of you. Over here. Set you to also accept iron. Alright. So, um, what's the shape? So I scroll down. It's you in the middle. And then it's like that, I think. And then there and there. And then there, there, there. Nope. Other way. So you're there. Uh, done it again. There, there, and there. And then you are there and there. There we go. Uh, keep external apply. There we go. Alright, now that noise is annoying, but it does mean that we'll be very shortly getting a load of uh, Fluix crystals. Like so. Do that and that. That and that. That and that. And that and that. Lots of seeds. Now you come over here and go in there. The reason I built this little quartz glass structure was because the picker robots were actually coming over and picking the seeds out of the water before they were finished. Which I think is a flaw in the design of the robots, if I'm being honest. Uh, you know, it's not game breaking, but it's quite irritating. Definitely irritating. Yeah, we haven't got enough for two stacks. Right, so we'll give that some time to uh, 
cross over and then here we're going to do this right what's going on here What's in there that shouldn't be? Oak. No, stop it. Right, there you go. Osmium. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Not that one. Or that one. Or that one. Guess you're going up here then. There we go. Uh, how much of this is transporting over. What else are we missing now? Ah, glass. That's the next thing we're missing. Oh yeah, we've got loads of uh, circuits being made as well. Cool. Uh, let's top the rest of this up. There we go. And we'll grab loads of glass. Of which we have plenty of stacks. Alright. Run over here. Check this. What else are we missing? Ah, gold, I think is the next thing. Because uh, to create the 1K ME, yeah, you need these logic processors. So we need a load of gold. Grab the gold. Right, we're going to end up with a, an absolute buttload of uh, storage components now, hopefully. Which one's the gold one? Uh, come on, game. It does do that from time to time. Your silicon, your gold. Yeah, so now we've got loads of the stuff being made. Which is then coming in here, being pressed, turned into this. Which is then uh, coming in here, and as you can see, we've got 4K, 16K, and 64K. So, in fact, uh, one more 4K, and we should. Here we go. We have our first 64K ME cell. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to put an extract on this as well. Uh, so an in and an out like that. And you're going to be extracted on dark blue. Back into that first chest. And all of our storage is going to be here. Now, I need uh, an ME drive to store it all in. I'm tempted to go for that one. But actually, the bog standard one is pretty good. So, two lots of iron, two lots of glass cable. Sorry, four lots of iron, two lots of glass cable, and then two lots of engineering processes. Well, we've got iron. Where are we? Over here. Uh, so, I'll take a stack of that. And... Which one was it? Engineering processes. So I'll take I think that's too many. I think five should be enough to get started. Uh, and then I need some glass cable which if I grab what I've got left here Those trees are being cut down fast. Run over here. Grab this quartz. 
run back over here. Alright, so it's uh, that plus that and that equals that and then that like so. And actually this uh, this ME glass is quite important. Um, now I need an ME controller. Which again, isn't that difficult to make? The only drawback really is it does need lava in a barrel to get skystone. Lava in a barrel uh, plus skystone dust equals skystone. You then put that skystone into a furnace of some kind to turn it into skystone block and then you combine that with some pure flux crystal and some engineering processes which does mean we need more diamond actually. So I might as well chuck those in as well. We got any here? Yes we have. Just another stack should be fine. I'm going to stick that in there whilst I'm doing this. So you're going to go in there and do your wonderful things. Whoops. How are we doing over here? Everything should be getting made. We're still waiting on that gold. Which is that one, right? Yeah. So I think the problem is, yeah, the diamond seems to have... In fact, they all have. So the downside to this inscriber is... Uh, really, you need three. One for each type. And I will be doing that in the final version. Uh, but yeah, we should have some more of those being created. So I need a barrel of some kind. Uh, plus, I mean, I've got everything else. So yeah, it is just the barrel. Uh, actually, I need this as well. Fluix dust. Drop a fluix seed made from fluix dust and sand. Uh, and fluix dust is created by sag milling or macerating, whatever it might be. This. And again, I'm doing it now, like I did earlier. About yesterday, I think it was. I was trying to make um, fluix, uh, not fluix dust, so it's quartz dust. Uh, and then I realised I have a whole drawer full of it over here. So I'm just going to check really quickly. Uh, it doesn't look like I've got fluix dust anywhere. I'm not even sure where I got that fluix from. Not 100% sure. Uh, so I need a stone barrel. This one. Which is stone and stone slabs. That's the stone. Come back up here. Uh, not in there, but here. Grab a slab. Run over here. And we do that. That and that. Stone barrel. Now I'm going to need... Actually, I'm not going to need that. I am going to need uh, the Skystone Dust. Where is it? I have a whole drawer full of it. I'm sure I do. There it is. Uh, let's just take... Yeah. That's the perfect amount. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. Hop over here. And hop over here. So here we have lava. Put that there. Uh, you're filling up with water. Don't want that. Do I have any more solid blocks? go and then uh, put you there 
and you're filling up nicely with lava and then we should just be able to do this and we just keep right clicking uh, now I'm not sure where it's getting dropped actually there it is we will automate this at some point in the future we don't need to now though we don't need many controllers that's the, uh, the benefit of this So any second now. 28, that should be enough. That'll get us... 7 controllers, I want to say. I think that's right. Uh, there we go. Come on, nice and quick. Still hear that clicking. That's going to be annoying. Alright, and one more. There it is. Okay. Uh, where did that Fluix dust go? See, I just don't know where everything gets shoved these days. It all just goes somewhere. The sooner I get all this into uh, the ME system, the better. I'm telling you that now. Um... Alright, it's there. So I'm going to swap that, throw that on the floor. We'll throw another stack of it on the floor as well. Reason being is so that we can come in here and grab a stack of sand. And we do that, and we do that, and we do that. You can just go back on the floor. Right, you and you go in there. Now I'm going to have to watch this because I haven't got the filter down there set up to um, take in the Fluix crystals, the new Fluix crystals. So I might have to hand watch this one. Hand watch? Is that a phrase? I don't think it is. I have to watch this one by eye and sort of guess when it's been converted and then make sure that the uh, the filter is updated. problem is it's almost impossible to see because there's either blocks or lines in the way. Oh dear. It's a lot quicker than it was. It is a lot quicker than it was. I'll give it credit for that. I think this thing... I need to have a switch where I can turn this on and off because you can see there is an, uh, there's a switch thing here that you can just toggle. So I'll switch it off when I'm not using it. Because that noise is irritating. Normally I'm not over here, so I don't really hear it. Now, what am I trying to do? A controller. I'm wondering if it's worth adding an extra recipe in the crafter that we've got. Because we, we do still have uh, space. We shall see. Come on.
They are slowly transforming. I just want to check how much more space have we got here. One more slot. And that's perfect for the uh, the final crystal. The sky stone blocks I might just chuck in by hand. If I do that... Uh, I was about to tell it to remember, but actually I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait till we've got at least a stack of these as well. They are getting there. Slowly but surely. They are getting there. How long have I been streaming for? 48 minutes. Feels a lot longer than that for some reason. Feels a lot longer than that. Maybe we won't get the factory done tonight. But we should get the storage system beginning to get set up. That's the plan. And in fact, whilst I'm uh, over here fretting, I want things like an import bus. Which is... Annihilation Core. I mean, that's fairly easy to make. Believe it or not. Acceleration card. Mm, I should probably make a few of those as well, actually. And again, fairly easy to make. Are they converting? I'm not sure how long I can leave them for. I'm not sure if the five-minute timer starts once they've converted into uh, pure Fluix crystals or not. I, I just don't know. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Oh, we got two. We got two. We're going to store so much data. In fact, there are bigger sizes. You might have seen 64 by 64. Uh, to, to, uh, for, hang on. I don't think it is 64 by 64, actually. It's something funky like that. I think it's 256. It goes the next size up. Really, robots? Could you not come over here and pick that up for me? Chuck all the Skystone dust back for a second. So now I need... What? Ah, yes. Rubber of some kind. Please tell me we still have some rubber somewhere. We do. Good. I can make a piston. Alright, over here. Uh, that, 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 that. Uh, and then that, that, that. And then an annihilation core, which is logic process of fluix dust and nether quartz. So I need more of that fluix dust, which is a fluix crystal, which is made. Drop one charged Surtis Quartz and one Nether Quartz and one Redstone Dust into a puddle. Aha! Uh, so one charged Surtis Quartz. So if I get one stack of charged Surtis Quartz, one stack of that, and then come out here and get one stack of um, Nether Quartz. And come over here and go boom. Boom. I forgot the redstone. I forgot the bloody redstone, didn't I? There we go. So the one drawback to this method is it is all now dropping in one. Like it's, it's dropping all of one item first, then it's dropping all of the next item, then it's dropping all of the third item. You know, it works. You can see it's working because of the little lightning bolts that... Ow! Punch my keyboard then. Good evening, Kurt. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're counting nether quartz. Yeah, it's working. Slowly but surely. And eventually we'll get into the redstone. There we go. And now it will all start. In fact, there it is. Quick as that. Do 
don't know if you can see there, it's all bouncing around. There's quite a lot there, actually. There is quite a lot. Oh, good. I did put that filter one in. So it's just the other one I need to do. I, do you know what? I don't remember doing that um, Flux Crystal one. Right, they are getting absorbed slowly but surely. I think it's... How many stacks? Alright, so there should be two stacks in total. Currently there's only one in twelve. Alright, I just need to pick up everything that's here. Uh, just throw that on the ground quickly. Throw that on the ground quickly. I need to pick up that stone. Alright, what am I doing here? Throw that, throw that, throw that. Right, so here I am temporarily taking this out. Putting it here and then putting uh, this into it. Putting that back there and then filling in this hole again. Okay, you go there, you go there, you go there. And there you go, two stacks of that and however much of this that we made. I feel like there's some missing, but I know, maybe not. No, I don't think there is actually. I don't think there is. Alright, so you go there and make up the last of that. Uh, and then you, let's say you replace that. And we'll do remember. Alright, do I still have that? Uh, yes, yeah, Skystone is there. Do you know what? I've already forgotten what I was making here. Oh yeah, ME controller. So, scroll down. It is... It was that, 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 and then that, 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 and that. And was it the engineering press went in the middle? Nope. Hang on. No, because I've not put the sky stone anywhere. It's not the glass. Right. It's that, 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 and that. Plus that, 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 and that. Plus that. External keep apply. Okay. Run back over here. Chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck that in. We might as well chuck all this redstone in. What do I need to make this now? I need that, which is Fluix Dust, Logic Processor, and Nether Quartz. So I need a Logic Processor, which is the gold one. Of course it's the gold one, because that's the only one I haven't got. But, somewhere, we've got loads of it. So I'm going to do a manual... problem is now, I think every time it comes over here, so we're going to do that, we're going to take this one, uh, you're going to go here, I think you get sucked in, yeah you should do, oh no it doesn't, it's the wrong colour, oh that's annoying. I will leave you there for now anyway. Okay, you're still clicking away quite happily. Um, what am I making? Import bus. God damn it, I keep forgetting. So I need to grind up... Um, some of you. How many do you think I'd need? I think just one. One... Mm. 
We'll make four. Which means I do need to get some more uh, pistons made. Uh, let's see. Do that. Do that. Still not got any of that. Gosh damn garnet. And do that. Uh, and do that. Do I not have any jungle wood saplings anywhere? I could have sworn I did. Yeah, I do, down there. Hmm. Don't have any saplings there, though. Right, uh, that, 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 that. Just do that, and that. And then that that uh, got to grind you up. How was your interview today, Kurt? Aha, here's some I made earlier. Uh, nether quartz. And we'll use this crafting table. Ah, I need another logic processor. Of course I do. Dosh damn garnet. keep doing that. I really can just borrow this one. Because it won't get replaced by anything else. Are we really run out of silicon? Holy moly. Who would have thought we'd run out of silicon, eh? Right. And then that, that, boom. Okay. We are getting there. Uh, we need the ME controllers. Where did they go? Wrong chest mark. Right chest mark. Uh, and we'll grab these babies as well. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Uh, so somewhere out here... Um, I mean, I kind of want to do it in the centre of the bank, but there isn't a centre point. There is, however, this street lamp right here. Which I could alter the design of this slightly. Uh, using these. And also using some of these. Uh, and also using somewhere is it back out here? yep, one of these and also using where was it? Uh, somewhere I've got the cards there, so the power transportation upgrades are the um, the ones that convey the power and then these ones here the power supplier upgrades are the ones that actually tell the power where it needs to go. I'm sure if, if the interview went well, then you won't be waiting long. Pretty sure of that. Alright. So I need this to just stay open for five minutes. I don't know why it keeps closing like that. It's really frustrating. So what I'm going to do is dig all this out um, and I'm also going to dig out that and I'm going to dig out that right uh, now I need to put some stuff in the chest here that 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 uh, yeah that'll do for now so I can pick up all this stuff okay I'm gonna pick up this as well and we're gonna do this so you're gonna go there. We're then going to have one of these directly on top of the other. Um, we're going to put the capacitor, that one, on top. Like that. And in fact, I don't think I need to do this. Thinking about it. I think what I can do 
in fact, is just this. Um, tell that to do that. And then on top of this, I can just put that. Put the facade around it. Like so. And then if I put a supplier upgrade on that, plus a transporter upgrade on that and then from here dig a tunnel into the bank itself just as an example let's put it okay, let's go inside this There we go. Okay, uh, so let's say I put this here with this underneath it and one of these inside it and then laid a series of these I need to get some more Grab another stack. Hopefully, huzzah, it works. How freaking cool is that? And then if I dig this out and walk in here. On top of this, I can then put this, and then this, 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 and this, and this is our first controller. Now this controller will stretch from the ceiling, actually maybe not the ceiling, but sort of from ground level down underground into the deepest, darkest depths of uh, the bank. I've got my words then. One, two three, four, and then this side we're going to go like this, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, I now need a terminal, preferably a crafting terminal, which is an ME terminal, which is more of those annihilation cores, plus some other stuff. In fact, I'm not sure if I 100% do need one right now, because I think I can just do this, this, and this. And if I come and grab a dolly, wherever the hell I put them. Where did I put them? I think there's one over here somewhere. Dolly, 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 dolly. I always have them until I need them and then I can't find them. Oh, that railcraft stuff. I will try and take a blueprint of that. Or like build a generic um, track plan with signals etc and then try and take a blueprint of that and copy it there we go dolly uh, and see how that works it might work it might not I don't know yet right so we're gonna take something that's always full and always driving me mad uh, carrots the simple carrots now we do walk a lot slower when we're carrying a dolly with stuff on even if I switch out of it as you can see luckily the jetpack remains marginally unaffected so I just walk in here like this and if I stick you there like that it's starting to drain now it is a bit short sighted just to fill up on carrots 
So I'm going to put other items in as well. One thing I do need to do though, and this is crucial. Uh, I'm sure there was a type of inscriber that allowed stacking. Advanced inscriber? It could well be that. Iron, engineering processor, hopper. Do you know what? I'm going to borrow you very quickly. Uh, so what was it? Two engineering processors. We've got the whole bloody lot now. Stick you back in there. Uh, four iron ingots, which I can go and grab in just a second. That's not the right one. And two hoppers, which I can also go and grab. don't know what I just picked up there. It will stop all that overflowing as well. I've got a design. And that's actually what the factory is going to be for. It's going to be mainly... There'll be crafting in there, auto crafting. But it's mainly going to be where um, cobblestone is processed and turned into ores. So what is it? It's four iron plus... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Contingency. Uh, plus sixteen planks. Like that. Come over here. Turn you into chests. Turn chests into hoppers and then turn hoppers and everything else into what am I missing? Engineering processor, iron ingots. Where'd the inscribe where'd the inscriber go? Tell me it's still on the floor out there. Where'd it go? I'm sure I picked it up. Oh, I've got a spare one here anyway. Could have sworn I picked it up. There we go. I've got to try and place this how the other one was. There we are. This is not filling up correctly, is it? Oh, there it is. How the hell did it end up all the way over there? Right. You're supposed to be silicon. Or maybe you're not. I do need to get some silicon, though. And chuck it in there. Just go do that. Go away, stop picking up stuff. Silicon. Wrong one. Silicon. And. Is that really all we've got now? I'm to all the clay. Ah, we need to put more cobblestone in there, I bet. Um. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Alright, we'll have to come back for that in just a second. In the meantime, swerve that like the plague. Up and over here. In there, please. Thank you. Come over here and get turned into that thingy, my jogger. And then you come over here. I think it's working. Is it working? Are you powered? You're not powered. Why are you not powered? Don't tell me you've got to be powered by... I think I know why you're not powered. Uh... That's quite annoying, actually. Um... It's funny how the original inscriber worked, but the new one doesn't. 
Do I have any any energy conduit anywhere? It's not going to be in there, is it? Here. Uh, and one of those as well. Right. Cut that. You're going to go there. Now are you working? Actually, that was, that was a really dumb idea. So I'm going to do... I'm going to borrow a controller from over here. It feels like slow progress, but when we reflect on it, it'll it turn out we've actually done a, an absolute ton of stuff. It's one of those deceptive progress things. Alright, so you go there. Now that is technically powered. Question is, is this powered? Yes, it is. And it's working. Look at that. So now we can mass produce these uh, circuits. Isn't that great? So now we're going to have a ton of uh, these storage buses being made which is exactly what we're going to need in just a second as we continue to add where do you come from? maybe that's what the knight was killing All right, if I come over and turn you on let's go see if it goes, kill goes and kills them right what else will we filling up on? Um, Again, it's bloody carrots, really, isn't it? Stone, graphite, all of this stuff. I mean, the problem, really, is ash is quite bad. But I wouldn't take what's in these chests as uh, as being accurate, because for some reason they're not filtering out the bottom like they're supposed to. Which is very frustrating. Also, we've got a ton of seeds here which some stack some don't let's go put these in the uh, the water let's grab a I don't know birch we are getting a fair amount of that So you're going to go in there, and I'm going to come over here and dump you, you, and you, you, uh, you, and you, and you. There we go. I've actually got room to breathe again. Oh, it's so slow carrying these things. bank will be decked out in the near future as well. Okay. Now, how full are these getting? Not bad, actually. Not bad. Slowly but surely. Now, I do want to make these acceleration cards. Which is lots of iron, diamond, redstone, and some pure actually any type of flux crystal alright so the flux crystals are that uh, I need to just create a load of redstone Right. 
that, that, scooch around here, and that. Come and stick all that in this hopper. Like so. Um, what else do I need? Whoops. Iron, calculation, press, diamond, and some more redstone. So, calculation, press. I mean, we've got loads of that. Uh, shall I take iron from here as well? Might as well. Half a stack should be fine. Mm, actually. take three stacks. You can have that back. Alright, two lots of diamond. Come over here to do that. And one lot of redstone. Uh, plus those flux crystals. Alright, can I use this without... yes I can. So it's this plus, not that, this equals a butt ton of acceleration cards. Now what I can do is speed up all of these processes. So if I come over here first and select these, like that, I will look how much faster that's emptying now. Look at that, it's absolutely blitzing it. Same on this one. And I will do the same on these two as well, and I'll go grab some barrels, etc., to chuck on there. Like that. And then with the rest of these cards, I'm going to do the following. That, that, look how much quicker that's now going. That, that, and perhaps the most important one, this. Right, I do need more silicon. I need an absolute ton more silicon. Which means I'm going to have to grab quite a lot of cobblestone. So, jump down here. All of you are going to go in there like that. And you're going to be turned into lovely sand, and then lovely dust, and then lovely... Sorry, gravel, then sand, then dust, then clay. Because we have not got any clay. Why are you suddenly producing... Ah, okay, so you're making more locomotives again. Fair enough. How are we doing in here? Might as well chuck the rest of this in here then. Now this should be on round robin. Oh, it's not. Well, I think perhaps it should be. There we go. So the uh, pulverizer. Actually, I think the pulverizer priority was turned up, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, now it's on round robin. So there should be an even share. So we're getting lots of locomotives. 100 locomotives. I've still got no idea how long it's going to be before we actually need these locomotives. But it's nice to have them. We've got loads of minecarts and stuff here, which still need to be used ton of stuff. 
Right, you're being pulverised. I think we need some more. Really get the uh, production line moving. There we go. Right, might as well transport some more barrels whilst I'm... Uh, Messing around with this. So I'm actually going to go start transferring these barrels now. Um, yeah, we'll start with gold. And what I'm going to do... I'm sure I've got more dollies somewhere. That's the one I'm carrying, obviously. And I could have sworn... There we go. Uh, where am I going? Around here up here, over here. There's two. Now again, I'm sure I have more. Is that just particle effects from the torch? I think it is. What about outside? All of this still needs to be cleared up. This will all eventually get plumbed into the uh, ME system as well. What do you think, Kurt? Nice and efficient, eh? I mean, this stuff's an absolute mess. Oh, I thought that was a dolly then. What do you need to make dollies? Oh, that's easy. I'll just go make some. Don't know why I'm fretting about it. Uh, I need it to stop doing that. I've no idea if it's doing it or not. Alright, bud. No worries. Thanks for coming in. Hope you enjoyed it. It's probably not at the usual pace. I'm really tired today. I've no idea why. I think it is starting to have a, a bit of an effect on things. Alright, let's do that. Grab a couple of stacks of that. It's it's lengthy stuff, but when it comes together, it really does begin to function. Okay. Uh, so we're going to take that one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Uh, that one. And that one. Now I'm not sure how many of these we're actually going to be able to do tonight. I might end up ending the stream a little bit early tonight. It's the usual trick. I was really overhyping it, I suppose. I was anticipating we would get more done than we actually did. Mainly because we've actually we have still got a lot done, but it's not what I was originally anticipating. So I I don't feel like it's a a, a bad stream or anything. I think we've we've still done a heck of a lot of stuff. Is that empty or red? You're joking me. Is this still empty? That one's empty. Empty. Holy crap! Do you see how quick that was? Never mind, eh? It is just as fast as I thought. Alright, next. <laughs> I want to watch it this time. I might have uh, made the storage system a little bit overpowered here then. I think that's one of the advantages of using Ex Nihilo in uh, the overworld like this is you do end up with quite a lot of resources. I still don't think it's cheating, mind. I still don't think it's cheating. It's realistic. 
Look at that. So this one is filling up quite a bit. But we're going to have an absolute butt-ton of space still. Wow. I am genuinely shocked at how fast this is working. Alright, so you're going to go that one out, that one in. And you're just going to go over there for now. The reason I'm keeping these barrels and drawers is because we are going to plumb them back in again in the future. Uh, this one's going a little bit slower. But yeah, we are gonna, we're going to use uh, storage buses with these barrels in the future. So it's worth holding on to them. Alright, I'll tell you what. To end the stream, we're going to start building the prototype frame for um, the, the groundwork. Uh, the factory. I can't. Just my words. Right, so I'm going to grab... Oh, hang on. Uh, let's dispose of the dollies first. Right, I'm going to make a load of deer right as well. A load more deer, right? I should say. So it's that and that, isn't it? No. Oh, two by two. Right, and the uses for this, uh, I believe. Yeah, you can craft andesite and granite. I think granite is actually what I'm going to use. Granite with bricks, perhaps. Or oh, there's there's andesite as well. Let's let's turn this into diorite first. Uh, like that, and then like that. So that's three stacks of deer, right? Uh, and then let's grab some more quartz. Now, was it just that and that? Yes, it was. Nice. There's a lot of lag when I do this. Okay, and then I need some bricks. Uh, they're over here. Right, so this crafter currently makes beds. Uh, we're going to scrap that. And the wool as well. We're going to scrap that string. That one should be fine, I think. I oh, know we got the string one here as well. And the wool and the bed. So yeah, the string one we can also get rid of. Um, so that one it's going to be external. Alright, I need to get some more cobblestone and I need to get some more um, quartz. Like that. And in fact, I need another stack of quartz. Like this. Uh, so you are going to be that, 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 apply. And then you are going to be that, that, external, apply. Okay. This, when you extract, you're also going to extract this and this and then you when you extract you're also going to extract this chuck that in that in and that in and watch any second now there it is of the granite okay so I need a big open empty space we sort of have one. 
because the one I was using, uh, I then built some trial buildings on it. So we do, do need another sort of empty plot of land. I mean, this will do, I suppose, if I just... Get rid of all the uh, flora from this area. Enough so that I can see what I'm doing. Any second now. Definitely get rid of that. And scooch over here and get rid of all of this stuff. Right, I need to do some quick maths. So this area is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. I'm going to say it's 44 blocks. So it's 11 when you divide it by 4. Or actually, no, 22 when you divide it by 2. I think is what we're going to do. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So let's say instead of 27 it's 26. So it's 44 by 26, but I'm going to take uh, 6 off both of them. So it's 38 by 20, which means it's 19 by 10. So if I come this way, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then draw this all the way down. And this is one quarter of the overall building. And this is important because we're going to have, because this building is mainly going to be used for um, processing cobblestone, gravel, sand and dust. That's one quarter for each process. And then the spare room in the center is going to be used for um, other crafting, I suppose. It's, it's, uh, I'm trying to think of how to split it up because that's just to get the different base resources but then you've got things like ores and sands and gravels actually no I suppose that can all be yeah that can all be processed in one of these quarters still thinking about it okay I think this is going to be the right size building I think this is going to be the right size building. Whoops. I will have to mass produce clay at some point as well. We have not got enough clay. Alright. Now one corner. I'm going to scooch back over and collect more supplies. I need to drop off a load of stuff as well. We have got so much junk. Tell you what I'm going to do. I need one more bit of wood. Uh. Oh, got 
golf were just resubbed. Two months already. I know, right? Where's the time gone? Thank you very much. What's that? It is oh good. Right, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna come over here. Uh let's take out all this iron. Yeah, let's do that with it for now. And I'm gonna do this. Create two chests. Um I'm gonna chuck that on the floor. So much crap. <clears throat> I just don't need it all. Too much junk. So now we have this newfangled storage system. Instead of just dumping stuff into a storage system that I know isn't going to work, uh, that is nowhere near. I don't know how I thought that was close enough. Okay. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. And then... Uh, oh, no. I need you. That was close. That, that, that. Uh, all of that. Might as well chuck that in as well. Um, that. Sure. Okay. Right, so I need to come back up here. Stick you in there for a second. How much stuff have we got here now? Uh, fair amount. Fair amount. Not bad. I want to get into a position tonight where I can show you what the robots can really do. And how quickly they work when they're as a team. So what's that? One, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to grab as much cobble as I can. Making sure that I'm keeping four on me at all times. The rest of it is going to go in here. We should have some bricks. We are getting some more silicon as well. Good to see. Now, some of this, like the bricks here, are technically being converted into um, locomotives. So I will do that just so that we've got all the bricks that were available. Uh, the silicon I'm not going to worry about right now. I'm going to do a bit more converting. So if I come over here and do that, 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 and that. And I do like the way that this actually does light up uh, when there's items in the chest, and when there aren't items in the chest, the light goes off. Or, you know, it's, it doesn't light up red. I think that's pretty clever. And our builder bots are all sitting waiting currently. We are waiting for this to uh, do its magic any second now. I might put maybe one or two uh, acceleration modules, speed modules, into this just to make it pull into the machine a little bit faster. Maybe I don't have to do that. I'm going to do a very quick remember. There we go. And another one. <clears throat> okay, so we're creating more granite, and eventually uh, the bricks should get pulled across as well. Are they? I'm not sure if they are actually. I think that might be because the um, quartz is still being yeah, the quartz is still being pulled over. That'll be why then. Uh, right, I'm going to grab all of this granite and the majority of this brick. So once we get all the brick, there we go, and then look, it's gone out. That is quite clever. I do like that. Alright, so every corner of the building, as well as having a huge processing area, it's also going to have a huge tower, uh, which is going to take up, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six like this maybe and we're gonna go up two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty is that too high I think that's too high 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, hang on. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, plus 12, yeah. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that should be the same height, yep. And then, oh, whoops, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There you go. I thought that was going to be a lot more painful than it actually was. Alright. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, and there's six. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Now, yes, this corner is technically floating. I haven't come up with a design for the roof yet. I think what I will do is... 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. I think there is 6. Right, can I pass over onto that? Yes. There we go, and then here, whoopsie doodle. Something like that, maybe. Um, and then we could have like a glass roof that runs the length of the building like that. Um, at this height. So maybe something... Let's just come out like that and then go up one along, up one, uh, along, and then up one, and I think, is that the edge? Yeah, that's the edge. Something like that. And then if we run this all the way to the end, one more. like so, and then if I build, it won't be here as its final position, but if I build this across, actually it might be here like this in its final position, like that, and then build this back this way, whoops, like that, and then the bricks are actually going to be used to fill these towers in. But only the outside of the towers. The inside will not be uh, brick. And then the other walls, I'm thinking... I'm not sure if chiseled granite will cap be captured in the blueprint, so it might have to be something vanilla-based. I mean, that sounds like dessert vanilla based
Alright, let me go charge up the jetpack again. Luckily, I'm about to say we got a capacitor fairly close by, but actually by the time we get to it, it's probably just as easy to run to this one. That's the beauty of these street lamps, and just having power running everywhere. It means those of you, us that do have items like uh, jetpacks, although jetpacks will not be readily available to everyone in the city, but there will be other items that you can carry that will run on RF. And just being able to go and charge them up at street lamps if you're a, an admin, that would be very handy indeed. Right, how many more bricks have we got? Got a full stack. And that. What are we converting at the moment? Gravel into sand, I'm guessing? Yeah. So I'm going to actually interject on that and do sand into dust. Just to get this rolling again. There we go. Right, how am I doing for time? Got 10 minutes to go. Am I going to have enough bricks to complete this assembly? I have a horrible feeling that I'm not. I'm going to chuck the bricks I've got here into that chest as well. So at this point I really just want to get the tower finished and create a blueprint. Or get the building finished and create a blueprint. Uh, I suppose glass. Natural light. It's always important to have natural light flowing into a building. <clears throat> and how will that look? Eh, it will look okay. I'm also just realising this design is not going to work when you invert it. Um, when you spin it round. Ah, oh boy. Alright. I know how to save this design. Ow. So, the tower is now going to be the entire width of the building. So, there will always be two towers stuck next to each other. Actually, that works quite well, because um, if we're converting cobblestone into gravel, for example, then you build those two towers next to each other, then you convert gravel into sand, and okay, you will have to travel across to the other side for that, but it sort of still works. Um, and then we cut out this, or do we? No, I think we actually double the width of this. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So what's that? One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, this top bit I'm going to remove completely, like so. Okay, and then we're going to build the top supports for this part of the tower. Game freeze. There we go. Like I said, it does that from time to time. It's just part of the uh, the experience. There's a lot of stuff it needs to load. So the fact that it only stutters every so often, I'm pretty damn impressed. Whoops. There we 
we go. And then I'll start building this one this way. Alright, and then... Fill in this bit of the tower. Hop up here, fill in this bit of the tower. Which is easier said than done. The downside of survival building is it's a nightmare sometimes to place out these blocks. over to this side. How many more? Not many. Uh, this centre bit I'm going to get rid of as well actually. Alright. Duck through there. Come into here. Over this way, how many more bricks have we got? It's a full stack there. Plus, was that 50? Yeah. I need to speed these up, actually. They got capacitors in. That one hasn't. Okay. I think this one over here might do. Do you have a capacitor? Yes, you do. Perfect. So you are now going to be running much faster. Look at that. Speeding through. And you're turning it into bricks nice and quick. There we go. That's two stacks. And it's daylight, so I can actually see what I'm doing as well. Come on. Nice and quick. I can't be all of it, surely. Really? That was nothing. Holy crap. Can I do anything with uh, the chisel and these bricks? Oh, it's tempting. But again, I don't know if the blueprint would capture it. Worst comes to worst, I will go through and replace all of these blocks if I can find a better design. You have my word on that. Because it's just the middle ones here. And I might be able to use filler and builder blocks in order to speed up that process. Hop over here. Dirt, 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 and dirt. Right, now here, uh, what we're going to do is go back to this original roof design of that, uh, that. Actually, hang on. Ow. That, that. Uh, that, 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 and that, that. So what's that? X minus 10. X minus 10. Yeah. So that's the roof. And then here... Like that. And then also, what distance is this? So you're 64. 77 minus 64 is 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There, I think, is the uh, 
halfway point. It certainly looks like it is. So I will build that like that. And then there we'll have another uh, roof gable. Like that. And like that. And like that. And like that. And then finally like that. And like that. I think that's one too tall. I think what I might do is come on, hold still, hold still. Like that. I think that looks better. You don't want the sloped roof to be taller than the tallest point of the building, do you? Otherwise it becomes the tallest point of the building. We don't really want that. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. And then here... Ow. Son of a... Actually, yeah, that's one too many. So that goes like that. Which means this one also goes like that. So, and then from here, this way. Hang on. I'm sure there's a way. Is it left click? I thought there was a way you could change blocks that had already been placed, but apparently not. Alright, I need a ton more bricks still. I mean, the town was almost finished. I need to cap off... Whoa! The top here as well. Again, I need just normal granite for that. I mean, what... I don't know if it captures it as chiselled or not. I don't really want to run the risk in case it doesn't. Alright, run through here. Hop over there. Whoopsie doodle. Got no more granite there for the time being. However, I need to grab more soul sand. What's the time? Alright, two hours is up. Oh, it's disappointing that we didn't get it all done, but progress is being made. So what I'm going to do between now and next week is I am going to keep that framework that I've got over there. I'll finish building it, and I might even take a blueprint of it, but I won't set the bots to build the other sides of it until uh, next week on stream. So everyone who hasn't seen it, uh, the, well, hasn't seen the robots in action can actually watch them in their all their glory. Uh, I'm going to go grab a ton more cobblestone and literally shove it all over here to be processed. I mean, there's a load more still to go, so we're going to end up with a lot of brick. And in fact, we are limited by the capacity here. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. So we can store two lots. In fact, I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that, and that, that, and that. Remember. There we go. Loads of room now for bricks. 
Okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to finish off getting all the resources. And I'm going to finish off that template for the factory. I'm also going to start looking at... Uh, see if I can find some YouTube series of Ex Nihilo. To see if there's a, a, a like a, an efficient, most efficient way of processing all of the uh, resources. Um, and see if it fits into the space that we've got available. Because the factory is going to take up that entire city block. So if it's if that area there that we're looking at now isn't big enough, then I don't know where I'm going to put the factory. But we should have enough, plenty of space for cobblestone at least to be processed um, into gravel. And then half of that, actually yeah, half of that gravel will go off and be turned into sand. The other half will be turned into um, ores. And then of that sand, half of it will be siphoned off and turned into uh, dust. And the other half will be turned into ores. And we're going to keep doing that. So we need, really, we're going to choose a value for dust that we want to process. And then we double that number to get the, the amount of sand. And then we double that number to get the amount of gravel. And then we double that number to get the amount of cobblestone. And that's how much cobblestone we need to put in per hour in order to get the output of dust per hour that we need. So there's plenty of maths to do. So I'm going to go away and do that between now and next week. Uh, and yeah, I think I'm going to wrap the stream up here, guys. So I'm going to keep grabbing cobblestone. And I'm going to keep shoving it in this chest over here to be turned into all the other uh, resources and then eventually clay. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I'm also going to um, keep collecting soul sand and put it through here to be turned into nether quartz. Is that going? That's going pretty slow, isn't it? I might get, I need to get some more upgrades. Uh, and then I'm going to keep taking that stuff and shoving it in the chest over here to get turned into granite and to get turned into uh, bricks. So yeah, until then guys, thanks very much for watching. Thank you to Kurt for coming in. Thank you to Tom for the resub. Very much appreciated. Uh, thank you guys for watching on Twitch. If you haven't followed me on Twitch already, be sure to head over there and hit the follow button. And also head over to m4jmedia.com. Go to the Twitch page and you can subscribe to the stream calendar so you never miss a live stream. Uh, those of you watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And again, you can head over to m4jmedia.com and subscribe to the YouTube calendar so you never miss an upload. You can either subscribe to the whole calendar or just an individual event. Uh, and then you get notified, I think it's half an hour and five minutes before a stream and half an hour and ten minutes before a video, I think. It's something like that. Um, what else? I suppose in the future there will be an interactions page on, for this series as well. So you can head over there and add some name suggestions. Yeah, I think that rounds it up quite nicely. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, I will see you soon. <laughs>